Just checking for whales. Can't see any today. So let me give you a quick rundown on what I'm doing with uh, this new series. So I'm calling it Make and Do. So I'm making do with the tools that I've got and the materials and I'm making and doing in my shed because I like to. But this is also building up to something special for contact which fingers crossed will happen. If it doesn't you'll never hear about it but if it does uh, this will make sense as to why I'm doing this um, So in the first video is just a wrap-up of what I'm doing and why I'm doing it the second video I made a very solid workbench out of jewelry boxes and Then the third video uh, What did I do? Oh, yes, I refurbished a cubby hole under the house to put my watercraft so canoe and stand up paddleboard into this cubby hole to get them out of my workspace because they're taking up too much space today is the first step really in the refurbishment of the space I'm working in so in this video I'm tearing down uh, the old workbench I used to have which was built in fixed um, not very convenient, it was gathering a lot of dust and crud, so it's time for that to come down now that I've built myself a nice solid workbench on wheels. No whales today though, that I've seen, but I, I did get a couple of pictures of a hawk, I hope they come out alright. Alright, back to the office, do some editing. So back in the shed, I'm hanging up what they call here a French cleat system. Basically, it's a long piece of wood that you cut lengthways at 45 degree angle. So that piece on the wall has a downward slope on the inside where my fingers just were. You uh, cut up the other half and hang it on the back of your boxes. And then your boxes can grab onto that railing on the wall and they just sit there by gravity. They're not fixed in position except by gravity. 
a terrific system I only learned about from watching YouTube videos and only learned about it a couple of days before I hung those boxes there. But I'm delighted with that system uh, and if you look on the left hand side you will see a lot of real estate on that wall which is wasted with that big picture and a couple of um, ladders and stuff. I'm actually taking them down in the near future and I'm going to use that wall for a rather large French cleat system. That'll give me a lot of storage. So with today's cleanup coming to a close, you'll see me shuffling some desks around here now to find what turns out to be actually probably the best uh, configuration for these in the long run. Every night after I've finished work, I've got to put my benches back in the same place because Rosie's car has to come in there on the right hand side where the tennis ball is hanging. She drives in until her windscreen hits the tennis ball and then she's got about two or three inches to spare before she hits my Triton. I'm not worried about the Triton of course, I'm worried about the car. On the left on the wall, if you can see there's a line and an arrow choked onto the wall. That's where Ashling's car comes in until her left side mirror comes up close to that chalk mark. So with two cars parked in the garage at night, I'm tidied up, in for dinner and back at it again the next day.